How are you today? Most of us, uh, when asked that question, say we're fine. Well, fine, of course, only goes so far uh, as an answer. In fact, it often means that uh, either we don't want to take the time to explain further <laughs> than just to say we're fine, or perhaps we don't think the, the person asking really wants to know. This is Pastor Jeff Johnson from St. John's United Church of Christ at Orwigsburg, PA, with my weekly devotion, and it's always good to be with you. So here's a couple more questions today. How are you doing accepting life as it is today? Because, you know, that is a bigger deal than uh, we might think accepting life as it is and then the other question is do you have hope for the future I'm here today to tell you that those two things are linked acceptance and hope hope of course meaning that that you believe that despite anything there will be better days ahead it's really important uh, to have some hope every day hope is is the product of faith and faith for me is uh, ultimately faith in god and that's what gives me hope and keeps me going hope as i see it uh, is tied to your ability to accept for today the things that you cannot change I'm thinking about that wonderful prayer from Reinhold Niebuhr, written many years ago, that you probably have heard, and some of you have heard many times. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So by all means, do something today about what you can, can change the change you can affect take care of that but when you hit a brick wall well time to let it go let go and let God in these turbulent times and in your turbulent days a lot of times that's just what we have to do Niebuhr's prayer is not in the Bible, of course, but it does remind me of another uh, comment about prayer from the Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. He writes this, Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus it's important of course and maybe especially important for you today to accept the things in your life that you cannot change but it's equally important to carry the peace of Christ with you in your heart as Paul talks about the peace of Christ will will renew your hope your hope for the future. Let's pray. Dear God, help us to relax and to accept what is not going to change right now. May the peace of Christ give us a renewed spirit of hope for the days to come. Amen. I hope you're enjoying some beautiful spring weather. Hey, maybe I'll see you here at St. John's on Easter Sunday. Worship next Sunday, April 9th, 10 a.m. In the meanwhile, we have a wonderful Monday Thursday service celebrating communion and the scriptures uh, regarding the last moments of our Lord's life before he went to the cross. All of that, including a meal. Thursday evening, Monday, Thursday, we call it, starting at 6 p.m. You are invited. Also, 
Community Good Friday worship here, Friday at noon. All those opportunities to connect with God and the family of faith. I hope to see you along the way. Till then, this is Pastor Jeff saying, keep looking up.